What's going on everyone? Ash here with a news update on Shovel Knight Showdown. In a new blog post on their official website, Yacht Club Games has provided several new details about the upcoming Shovel Knight Showdown, a fighting game for up to four players starring various heroes and villains from Shovel Knight and its DLC episodes. First of all, as previously promised to backers of the original Shovel Knight Kickstarter campaign, Shovel Knight Showdown will be released as a free update for all existing versions of Shovel Knight Treasure Trove on consoles and PC. That means anyone who currently owns Shovel Knight Treasure Trove on almost any platform will automatically get Shovel Knight Showdown for free once it's released. But if you'll notice, I did say almost any platform, and indeed, there is an exception here. While Shovel Knight Showdown is also going to be made available as a standalone title, it will not be releasing at all on dedicated handheld platforms, meaning there will be no 3DS or Vita version of the DLC. As unfortunate as that is for players on those platforms, it sounds as though Shovel Knight Showdown is going to come packed with a lot more content than originally expected. For one, Shovel Knight Showdown's roster includes over 16 playable characters drawn from Shovel Knight's colorful cast of heroes and villains. This of course includes Shovel Knight himself, as well as previously playable bosses from the Order of No Quarters, such as Spectre Knight and Plague Knight. But the roster also includes several characters who have never been playable before, such as Shield Knight, Black Knight, and the Enchantress herself. Naturally, the rest of the previously non-playable Order of No Quarter will be present as well, such as Polar Knight and Propeller Knight. There will also be a variety of battle styles available, including 1v1 duels, 4-player free-for-alls, and co-op team battles against both AI opponents and friends via local multiplayer. These battle styles also complement a variety of modes that will be selectable as well, including Gym Clash, Showdown, and more. But perhaps the most significant news here is the reveal of a fully-fledged story mode, which Yacht Club describes as, and I quote, a multi-stage journey customized for each character. Each fighter will face a unique rival in their story mode as well as take on an all-new final encounter, though it's not specified whether this final encounter is the same or different for each character. Story mode will also include a minigame or two to break up the action. As you might expect, the lineup of battle arenas will include various stages inspired by famous characters and locations in Shovel Knight, but fans can also expect to see all new stages as well. Shovel Knight Showdown will also include a fully featured practice mode for those who really want to dig into the gameplay. And perhaps most importantly, Shovel Knight Showdown's soundtrack will include all new music by franchise composer Jake Vert Kaufman. If you've heard Shovel Knight's soundtrack, you know how exciting this is. Shovel Knight Showdown doesn't have a release date yet, but Yacht Club does mention they will be revealing characters, stages, and further detailing Showdown's gameplay in the coming weeks. And for Shovel Knight fans who just can't wait to get a taste of this new content, Showdown will be playable for the first time at the upcoming PAX West 2018. As a reminder, Shovel Knight Showdown isn't the only new downloadable content in development for Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight King of Cards, which stars the beloved King Knight and includes a card-based minigame to supplement the more traditional platforming gameplay, is also on the way, though it doesn't have a final release date quite yet. And that brings us to the end of this news update. Thanks so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to Game Explained for more on Shovel Knight and all things gaming.